The remains of the fortified wall of Kano, the largest city in northern Nigeria, are more threatened than ever with destruction due to the local policies that pay little attention to heritage preservation and the population explosion in this congested locality. A unique heritage, these 11th century red earth walls once helped to make Kano a safe and prosperous city-state at the crossroads of several trans-Saharan caravan routes. If you look at the city well generally, uh, almost uh, now 80% of it has been destroyed. The local archives indicate that the original walls, 12 meters thick at the base, were 15 meters high, towered over by a wide walkway to watch the surroundings. If said there is no city or long ago, uh, there, there could have been no canoe by now. The city wall is what the people of that time used to defend or to protect them, themselves. Despite a common culture, language and traditions, rivalries and wars of conquest have continued to oppose the pre-colonial house estates which extend over much of present-day northern Nigeria. Although uh, they, they have common culture, the same language, one language, uh, house, they, they, they are all houses speaking and they, ha they, are, they, 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 they have common culture. But still, uh, Kano is fighting, Zezo, Zezo is fighting, Kano, Kasena is fighting. Uh, all houses said there is, there, there is this uh, wars everywhere. So, just for territorial, territorial ex ex expansion, that is the reason of, the, of those wars. In 2007, the National Commission of Museums and Monuments responsible for preserving the Emir of Kano's Palace requested the UNESCO World Heritage Classification of the city's fortified walls, palace and other historic sites. But 11 years later, the request has still not been granted and historians fear that the incessant damage to the fortifications could further jeopardize possible recognition by UNESCO.